chat. Hello. Hi, Patty. Hiya. I need to brush my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it casual. Okay, then. <laughs> if you need to do the other side, it's slightly... That's it, that's much better. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Up, no, it's not, it's fine. That's just perfect. You won't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well we should be really starting. So um yeah, Fab, we can hear it. So there's you, Fab, um, Andy, Keith and me can all hear, hear each other. Um, but, um, That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, it, we can't seem to get anybody to hear us. Can you hear me on the phone? Um, can you can you see that we've been um, typing up? Um, that, well, everyone seems <laughs> everyone seems to be on mute, but that shouldn't stop us being able to be heard. It's just Um, 
Item number four, announcements by the Chair. I don't uh, have any, um, any points to raise or announcements to make. Uh, item five, to confirm the minutes of the meeting of the 23rd of September 2020 as a, rec as a correct record. I'm happy to move the I'm happy to second, Terry. Okay, lovely, thank you. Can we all have a um, a vote on the, whether we support that? Yes. Yep, thank you very much. Okay. Are you happy for the Chair of Council to sign the hard copy in your absence? If, if he's happy to, well, I'm not absent, I'm just in a different place. That's what I mean. I'm not, not <laughs> I know, I know. But yes, if he's happy to do that, then that would be very welcome. September 2020, not covered elsewhere on the agenda. 6.1, uh, pinch point on shared Brookway pedestrian cycleway, uh, South Gloucestershire Council local transport priority list linked to COVID-19 social distancing. Easy for you to say. Um, I wrote, I copied all of the chairs um, on a note that I sent out um, to the two Bradley State Councillors for South Gloucestershire um, to see if we could um, do something about progressing or escalating this because it has apparently been on the on the um, the list of issues for ten years and um, it's the the, um, the resident who's raised the original issue is um, is becoming, you know, is, is regularly raising it again and again. So I was trying to see if we could maybe um, get the two councillors and somebody, some sort of empowered person in South Gloucestershire um, to all meet and at least come to an agreement about either what happens next, if anything, or, you know, basically what can we do to bring this to a conclusion? Because the one thing we can't do, in my view, is that we can't keep going on for another 10 years without anything actually happening. So um, I've not heard anything back from the councillors. Have you heard anything back, um, Karen? Or no. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. The only thing that I know of, um, it was anyone who said in from South Gloucestershire, um, about this particular piece. Was that where they said that they had actually done, they had made some uh, yeah, I think work? I, yeah, I, I, responded, I responded to the email to the particular person because yeah. my response was basically to say that here's the, the reason why nothing's been done about this was cost. And I said, what is it would it cost if somebody had a serious accident at this particular juncture on the yeah. side? And um, I don't think I've had a response. So I don't think I have any. Yeah, um, I think they, I think also that they the, the what seems to come up all the time is is the is the complexity with dealing with the culverts. Um, and, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, I, I'm not a, you know, building expert or whatever, but, you know, I, I don't know how to answer. So, really, I don't know, I don't know how to take this forward, because it's on the minutes for the planning um, agenda for, you know, every single time. And I just don't know, other than do what I've done and... and I don't know how to take it forward, really. So I don't know if anybody's got any suggestions of what we could do from here. Can we not write yet further to say, can you please give us a update? 
Yeah, well, in your agenda pack, you've got the, the most recent update that I had from South Gloss, which when I got that in, that's the one that you then replied and said about the cost, but I haven't heard anything back from them since then. But then, Terry, you sent the, that email, didn't you, to both the councillors, um, was it earlier this week? No, the end of last week? So... Um, uh, yeah, I think it was early this earlier this week, but uh, yeah. so it might be worth us then chasing again to say. I, I can yeah. see the problem when they say, well, there was this water quality in the coal bed. You could easily put the, the simple solution is there's a concrete pipe that you get, that you dig out deep enough for the water to run through, and you 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 effectively serve as over the top of it. I, I can't see the problem. I agree, actually, because I mean they have made the point that it that that water flows into some oh, okay. some place where it's very important, and um, you know, uh, and and exactly, it's not like you're trying to say don't let the water flow. You're just saying <laughs> come up with an, a, a you know a better solution so that you can do something over the top of it. So. So, uh, be sensitive on. We're, we're fine. We're not trying to dump out the water. You exactly. Know, you actually put the tube in there for the water to go through. And you, you know, it's I, I wonder if the issue is more a case of this, what they've mentioned here about it partly on common land. That could uh, put a problem to the mix as well. But in the, the extra information that they sent out, the bit, the, the bit at the bottom of that says that actually local authorities are now supposed to promote schemes. So that's, that would be a positive to get them to do something, yeah, wouldn't it? So, there is yeah. Are they saying it's outside of our parish? They call it a parish council, I mean, we're a town council. Mm -hmm. So my question is, is it outside of our parish? Yeah, I don't quite know which bit of, because Terry asked me that question. No, um, the resident asked me that question as to when they were saying that it's it's managed by the parish council and it's a bit of common land. But actually, in that vicinity, we, as a town council, don't manage any land there. If they're talking about Common East, which is on the other side of Brook Way, as you, as you look yeah. down Brook Way, yeah. South Gloss actually, that is sort of their land and they sort of do remedial works on it. But if they're talking about the bit on that side, where the really wide verges where all the trees are, I, I don't know whether that's well, South Gloss. Well, that's, that's what Terry's asked them to try to do, yeah. Perhaps you get because I think you, yeah, you need to yeah. stand yeah. there and look at yeah. and say, is that yours? Whose is that? What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Who's responsible for it? Yeah. Well, that's it. yeah, that's exactly the point, really. And and uh, as I say, I've, I've made that request, um, and I've not had any reply. So I don't know, I don't know how to, other than keep chasing, which has been obviously clearly going on for ten years. I mean. I don't know how you actually escalate something. The point I was trying to make was that they've actually said common land, and I wonder if there are some special regulations regarding use of common land or change of use of common land. Well, yeah, that could be the case, but we, as a, as, as a you know, a collection of people, don't know that. We're not expert in those areas and so therefore we need some um, input from so, uh, South Gloucestershire but I think Keith was trying to speak were you Keith? Yeah thanks Terry I'm back I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know for how long but uh, okay. yeah right um, I came in on the back of this I, I think you're discussing the trees or something and a drain was it I heard Tony talking about yeah, it's a big point that's been sort of uh, on the agenda for quite a long, you know, long time. And it's the, well, I'm just wondering, I, I heard Michael say common land. I mean, are, I wonder if they're talking about the common. Well, it because says in the, in the notes, it says Brookway stroke the common. Right. Yeah, but, I was just thinking that's that, it, go on. 
the commons split in two, as you know, by Brook Way. Now, one side, is it the part which meets the A38? No. No, it's the bit no. that borders on the, the houses in Stoke Lodge and the Common and Brook Way itself. So it's that grass verge there by where by the doctor's surgery just down from the entrance there. Yeah. Brook Way. Right. Because some of that there, I mean, I, 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 there's, there's a community centre, isn't there, over the back of there. Now, some of it's Patchway, and some of it is the common. And, you know, well, now that, you know, it got, uh, Stoke Lodge got took away from Patchway, I mean, it's one of those grey area bits, isn't it? Well, I think the problem we've got is, I don't think we can drop it now. I think we really must press as hard as possible to get someone in South Gloucestershire to, or South Gloucestershire Council, um, you know, who, who's um, suitably qualified in order to at least, you know, give us an idea about what can or even maybe cannot happen because the resident that's complaining is becoming, you know, he's complaining more regularly and, and really after all of this time I think we just need to get to a position um, and I think Andy, sorry Tony, just two seconds, Andy's trying to, uh, or was trying to get in, so do you want to just quickly say what you want? <laughs> the main part that's concerning is probably part of Common West, which is Stoke Lodge and the Common, as Keith has been saying. There are a set of bollards across the road there, and it then yeah. becomes part of Brook Quay, and that's where the bridge point itself is. So it's kind of on, on the main road itself and not in Common West or in Common East. It's, it's yeah. actually on the, the adopted highway part. Yeah, um, and Tony, did you want to say something? Yeah, um, I really feel we have some sort of charity for South Gloucester to who own a piece of land which needs to be developed so that we can make the cycle path just a little bit wider. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and it and that's um, exactly. Who owns what bit, and is it this bit or that bit? Surely you can find that out from the land registry. Yeah. Exactly. I, I think personally, I think we now are at a stage where we absolutely must get somebody from South Gloucestershire to pick this up because. It is a South Gloucestershire issue, isn't it? I, 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 I would say property services. Yeah, I take my respect, you could get things from the land registry, but it's not our position. No, exactly, precisely, yeah. yeah. I, I would say property services, Terry. It's, uh, it's a piece of land, if it's adopted, then it's property services that have got to do any checks. I mean, they can do their own land registry stuff as well. I mean, it doesn't cost a lot to do a land registry uh, check anyway. I mean, it costs about five pounds, but that's not the point. It's it's land that is adopted. So if it's adopted, yeah. then it's South Gloss, property services, they are the people. Okay, and thank you, Keith. Is Sharon, can I just ask, have you got the contact details for the property services area in South Gloucestershire? I'm I'm sure that I can make myself annoying enough that they someone finally get back to me. Well done, Sharon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So I think I think that if it, sorry, I think if, if everybody agrees, that's the uh, the next um, step. Because it really does, it, you know, the ownership needs to, of this, of resolving this issue, needs to be moved to South Gloucestershire Council. So I will, I will also contact the, um, the South Gloss officer who responded to my email by phone. I won't do it as um, an email. I won't do it till Monday because I'm off for a couple of days. But yes, we are going to see what I can and get on that. Okay, all right, brilliant. Thank you. Um, okay, lovely. Thank you very much for everybody's input on that. Uh, the 6.2 is South Gloucestershire Council update on tree planting on council land 2019 to 2022, Bradley Stoke. So you have that in your agenda pack. 
there is an update uh, from the biodiversity team and there are also some better maps but if you remember the maps we had last time were very dire and difficult to read so the areas that are in the dark green on the two maps that you've got show you the areas that staff gloss biodiversity have identified as potentially being good to plant some trees in. The list that you have of the types of tree that they want to plant, um, which is 6,000 trees in total, that's across the whole of South Gloucestershire. Um, I think that there, well, you can see what it says in there um, about the spot, the places that they've identified across the whole of the area. So it looks like that although Bradley Stoke is sort of programmed in for this winter, hopefully they'll be looking at Bradley Stoke next winter as well. well the thing is, what, what I find a little bit disturbing, that will be sick by the tree, is that, um, as mentioned, I currently only have one good spot in our in Bradley Stoke, which is Primrose Bridge, and will probably take 100. So we're only likely to get 100 trees out of 6,000. Which is a bit disappointing, but yeah. 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 So, very disappointing. I mean, obviously she was, they are keen to hear from, from councillors for any of the other areas that are potentially being identified. Or tree planting. Huge tree they take an area of tree present. Yeah, because I think that's that on the map, that that grass verge is is on there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But but she Yeah, but she's also interested in hearing getting feedback from councillors as to specific areas. So that's one I can definitely pass yeah. on to her the the grass verge on um yeah. this is a report which is work in progress, isn't it? Because yeah. Said, I'm still looking at that. Yes, yeah. So this is the one which is identified and there are likely to be more following on. Yeah. So, I mean, if any other councillors have any sort of good ideas for the ones that she's identified, so... Well, where's the identified on maps that the places I have to It's primarily briefs, that's a very large acre of green space. Most of these are large acre of green space. So even talking about those you can find convert. Ironically, this actually gives us the boundary of our parish. This um, in so, what, so what are we being asked to comment on? Whether we agree, whether we have ideas about the number or different types of trees that are going to be planted in where? Is it not really? This is so. This is obviously they they have identified potentially the areas where trees could go. Um, so it's if you are happy with with those trees and then also you know to sort of raise other areas I mean perhaps you know down on I don't know about um, sort of Sherborne Break and Bailey's Court Road there's there's um, a few grass verges down there well, this would be yeah so I mean, I could I could go back to her. I, I noticed Terry that he's got his hand up, but I could go back to her and say, we want trees planted in all the areas you've identified, especially oak tree and, and brook way, because as Ben says, these are the main green areas where you would hope that they would look at planting some trees. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't see uh, I can't see Keith's being hand being up actually, Sharon. So um, he looks yeah, blank here. Yes, yeah, on the screen. Yeah, it's up. Oh, sorry. Okay. So I can't. Sorry, Keith. I can't see. All right. That, don't so. worry. Okay. Um, 
It's all very piecemeal, isn't it? They've got so many trees to go around. They've got to try and spread it out over all the councils. And, you know, I think they're just trying to look for odd sites here. But let's be honest, I mean, there's going to be a bigger problem next year when they start taking down the ashes, the ash dieback problem. Mm -hmm. They're going to need a lot of trees to replace yeah. stuff in South Gloss long term. Yeah, they've already started that, Pete. I know, yeah. <laughs> and, it, you know, I mean, they've started, they've just taken trees down around the back of me here. I see there's a little green blob on the map here, on uh, map two, I think it is. And it seems to imply the sort of end house as you've got the cycle track. Don't quite know why. They've taken out a few willows, but they'll all come back. Okay, I think we need to um, decide on exactly what we need to go back to the to, to Sally with um, Sharon because um, we've got well, a lot to get through, and you know we're halfway through. Well, you know, half seven nearly already. So, yeah. shall I go back to her and say we want as many trees as possible um, in the locations that you've identified, especially on the Brookway oak tree to replace the huge ash tree that has recently been removed because it does look very empty in that area. No. As I know we're going to the way they really put the on the map we've got a big section of yellow which is a very high hill area. Yeah that's I think so, that is that meadow grass the high yeah, hill so that is, that's yeah. all meadow grass yeah. on there. But this green patch in front of it is um, I think that could be quite interesting. I mean, again, we will use that green open space and the green open space now and things like that in the, in the uh, just adjacent nature reserve. So I think in terms of um, actual tree planting, to, to tr plant that into trees would be quite a shame. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very close to the front door. So you can actually open the front door into a uh, wood. I mean, that's what the biodiversity officer wants, is local knowledge, so it's that sort of thing to, to go so back I, and, and I mean, say. I mean, that's the only one of the ones I'm quite concerned about. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a green open space and we can plant trees in there, but I think planting trees on that particular green open space in Juniper Way would be a mistake um, for those residents there and generally the have that. Can I make a suggestion? Um, yeah, and if you yeah. have trees planted on it, then people are just going to sit on them or damage them, aren't they? Well, in the initial growing stage. Yeah. Guys, can I make a suggestion? Um, I'm not, I don't believe that we can make a decision like this based on looking at a map and I just wondered whether people would feel happy if we all got together and asked if we could be taken round to the various sites and actually see it, see them physically. Yeah. Which, you know, that, that point you're making then might be a bit more, you know, you could, in all cases, you might be able to more easily determine whether it's a good or bad idea. By physically being there. Did you want to come in? Yeah, going back a few years ago, we did. I can't remember what it was for, but do you remember Sharon where we identified all of the green spaces in uh, Bradbury Clay? Yeah, most of which actually they didn't accept, did they? That was the landscaping yeah. um, character assessment or whatever it was, yeah. Yeah, they didn't accept it, but we did have a piece of work, which is at the office somewhere, which identified and we did um, Google Earth images of all the green spaces. So, yeah. I guess it's a good idea to go out and have a wander around and quite happy to do that, but somewhere in the office is all the paperwork from that work that I did. Um, yeah which shows the green spaces in some detail. Oh, okay. So would that be possible, Charles, for you to look that out? Yeah, but that would, I think you, you need to, what you need to use is the, is potentially the maps that she's given you as they're the areas that, yeah. So, <laughs> those places are spaces that are <coughs> involved in the maps. Asking for 
feedback on what we think about it. Yes, they're asking for input from the town council. Because, no, 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 it's just they're asking for local local knowledge on the areas that they are have identified as being good to plant trees. So I don't think they necessarily are looking for more areas. They want to know what council think of the areas that they found. But I think I'm quite confident. I know where those areas are. I'm out of that meeting in the town to understand the context personally. But this might be different, but um So can I propose that we suggest that we have a site meeting or a you know round a sort of a tour around these sites and then uh, for all those who are willing to do that to meet up, go around the sites, identify exactly what's going to happen and then feedback. Do you want, would it be, would it make sense if it's possible to get the uh, biodiversity officer involved in the, the site meeting to go around and have a look? Well, yeah. absolutely, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was meaning really, for, for, for us to be kind of shown around and, yeah. you know, for them to sort of talk us through exactly what's going to happen, what types of trees are going to be there, how, you know, what it, what they will look like in, you know, a year, two years, ten years, and everything else. And then we we have much more, um, be, a much, yeah, better ability to be able to determine whether we think it's a good idea or not. Yeah. Okay, so can, can we, is that, um, can we, I don't know whether we vote on this, Sharon. No, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll just go back to her and say... Can I just put in a couple of things? So, we're doing the Davis Court, I think the area that's there that's been marked would be ideal to have small trees. Okay, well, now the, the grass verge down there. Sharon, can yes. I just uh, interject here a second? I think, in the interest of time, I think that's a good point, but it's something that we can talk about at the site meeting, in my opinion. So, do you think we can draw this to a close and move on? Everyone's happy. Hi, Thank you. Well, I'll go back to the and then see what she says, and then hopefully come up with a, with a date when everybody can yeah, exactly. do distance them, have a wander around, and look at trees. Okay, yeah, not look at trees, look at open spaces. Right, exactly. <laughs> Great, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so moving on then to point seven to note the act from a previous planning applications and other documents pertaining to planning and environment issues. You have that in your agenda pack, so there have been six decisions, five of which agreed with South Ross and one of which was, um, we didn't actually make a comment on, because that was during the COVID lockdown, but yeah. All did well. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gold star, thank you. Okay, um, number eight, to prepare responses for the proper authorities regarding planning applications relating to Bradley's Doe. Please also refer to the planning items as detailed on the link referred to and refer to the planning weekly and monthly list. So I did send through an updated uh, version today because one more planning application came in today. So that the, the only one you won't have on your your hard copies is 203 weeks of drive. So I'm just going to those in a second whilst I share my screen. Okay, hopefully. Okay. So the first one is one open park Ashwood Road, installation of two flutes and two extractor pipes and it's a retrospective one. Industrial building just on the edge there. 
Well, they're all the other side of there, aren't they? The, um, the, Are there any comments from residents on uh, that one? No, absolutely nothing on that one. No. It's no. already happened, it's done, so unless uh, there's anything outrageous, I think we should move it. Agreed. Right, hang on a second. So it's, um, right, so it is literally two pipes like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. we I think we should move it. Yeah, okay then. So can we have a vote on it? So sorry, yeah. do you propose no objection for that piece? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. And Michael seconded. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm voting yes, but I can't get anywhere on the screen at the moment. Five, that's six in favour. Again. One again. I'm saying the favour of four. No, um, I think if you look on the... So it's given more oh, yes. just limited with the um, company. Demaster. Mm -hmm. Because they do like car frame, they, they've got the installation of prefabricated spray booth. Spray booth. Yeah. No, okay. On to the next one, because we have carried that one. Yeah. So we can even it then. Out of that one, I can get the key. Done. Okay, so that one. The next one is P twenty one six three nine seven PBR, the erection. Single story side and rear extensions to form additional living accommodation at Stratton House 7 Stages Mead. Is this house here on the end? The image with that house. Going from that to that. I haven't got a plan of showing the building in the land surface. So we have quite a big problem here. So yeah. yeah. There is a there is a comment of superseded. Yeah, yeah. There is a um, Superseded the door the side location, that one up from the bottom. Yeah, no, superseded means the revised one, um, yeah, the yeah, updated one. one, yeah, so I think this one. Yeah, yeah. 
So that, that just shows you it in the location. <laughs> No, the re that's the revised one. The superseded is the one that is now obsolete. It has been superseded by the revised one. Yeah, that. Uh, September, and then the revised law plans the 14th of October. What's the neighbour comment? The neighbour said um, they don't have a problem with it, provided you they don't lose the hedge because they like to do the sparrows. <laughs> right, okay. That's the neighbour's comment. And, that, and that's agreed, is it? That's the, that hedge isn't part of the... Um, um, destroying that hedge isn't part I of I don't know on that one. I don't think it's potentially it's one of those things where I'm not it sure. Would. Wouldn't stop it. No, it's oh, wouldn't it? It does look like if you look on the on this diagram here on the right hand side, that um, which I guess is where the resident Edge. is talking about it, that it's that house is coming very close to the edge, so Oh, really? Well, if the rules are that it, you know, that complaint wouldn't, or that sort of caveat wouldn't stop it, then... Let me just see what the word is. And the problem with that is if he encroaches his foundations within the neighbour's handle. Yeah, and then you have to look at the other It doesn't actually say anything on the plan when you zoom in of, um, about what's happening to the right hand side there it just says site we, boundary we could ask for a planting scheme to be put in subject to uh, being granted um so what how, how does that work keith well, I mean, it, the neighbour has asked for it anyway, so it's something that the planning officer will be aware of. Um, we could uh, we could ask that you know that comment is a, is taken into consideration, and that um, if possible, the hedge is kept as a planting scheme. Yeah, yeah. Or or a new one erected after the development, if it means the roots get torn out. Not particularly attractive, though, is it? When you look at the front elevation, it doesn't really match anything. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Actually, the size bit on there doesn't look very interesting. No, exactly. And also that view that we saw the very first picture that you showed, um, Sharon. It didn't even look, from memory, that there was enough room to fit. Oh, I suppose so. Yeah. yeah. It's on the side over there. Yeah. Yeah. Crikey, is it not big enough, the house? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <nice. laughs> I can put that side as a good edge of open grass. Um, yeah, on that, yeah. yeah. But I guess that is, because that, that's why I've done this book going through there. Yes, yeah. 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 Okay, so what do we what do what what shall we decide or what how do we take this forward then? If you yeah, where, where that wall, where the new piece is coming. It is a bit easier if you look on this map, like yeah. see the hedge it is quite quite a significant hedge row there, isn't it? Yeah. Pointing that edge there, where he's got two windows on that side of the vision. Looking at yeah. Terry, looking at that street view, then it, I'm just wondering if that was a planting oh. scheme that was put in because there are hedges around most of those houses there. And also, can you just, you know, demolish a hedge? I mean, you know, everyone goes crazy about demolishing trees. I mean, do the hedges not have any protection? No, no only they're, 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 they're,
If they're ancient hedgerows, yes, they yeah. would. But yeah. And there's no birds nesting at the time. What would you say, yeah. Which would make the hedge outside of his, his uh, boundary and not his property. That's why I wonder if it's the planting scheme that the developer put in. That's right. Mm. Mm. Sure. I just, just the plan. Sure. Who's both just now? Hey, uh, Tom. Oh, hi, Tom. Hi, uh, Chair. Sure. Okay. Which I, uh, sorry, I, I was in another meeting. I joined. I informed the, the town clerk about it. Uh, what, which item we are talking about? It's the number two, 16397. Okay. Direction of the single story side and rear extension to form additional living accommodation. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, this, so this is the location plan. So it doesn't look like, like the head row forms the boundary of looks like we're their when site, yeah. When you open that satellite image, you've got the head row is right on the edge of the road. That one? If you put that that extension, I'll guarantee you that they'd be able to do it. Because they have to take the head row because they're putting this foundation to what position does that put us in, in terms of deciding, or can, because Keith said that all, it doesn't make any difference, you can't sort of stop it because of that, or what? All we can do is ask if the planning officer is mindful to include the, uh, you know, a hedge being put back if it got damaged or removed. As, as Tony said, I think it, on the right hand side, if you look, there are windows, that windows. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. so, so who, who trumps who then, you know, if, if someone wants a hedge and someone doesn't want a hedge, if it's not on his back, you know, if, if say for example those two windows are actually looking at the hedge, um, you know, and it's not on his boundary, has he got any right to take the hedge down when someone else doesn't want the hedge to be taken down? If it's not on his boundary, then it becomes, uh, you know, uh, well, who, whoever owns the other side. So, I mean, is it highway? Is it uh, open spaces that, you know, are in charge of that? Who maintains it? So can, can our position be, would people agree that we could go and say, you know, we need more information about the, um, about the hedge that may, you know, sort of be impacted by this? Yeah, um, that would be useful because we, we need to know who owns it, who yeah, maintains it. We have already had an extension to the, the because this came in on the 25th of September. Mm -hmm. And what, what was the extension for? No, the extended time for us to comment because it came in after our last meeting. Well, it is clearly it's clearly upsetting a neighbour. So, um, on the basis of you know not having enough information on it, it wouldn't hurt just to put a comment that you, you, you know we do we're concerned. We do need to know whether that is a open spaces maintained hedge? Is it a scheme that was put in as part of the development when it was built? Because this guy is assuming that he can do what he wants and that he's taking possession of the hedge as good as, but... Mm. Well, I, I would suggest that we, I mean, I don't know what position we're in if it's been extended, but um, i.e. the decision time, but you know, I don't think Personally, I don't think we can make an actual decision here. I think we need more information about the hedge. Yeah, yeah. it would help, so wouldn't it? You could defer a decision as we require further information linked to clarification of ownership of the hedge and yeah. whether it could be retained. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, brilliant. So, um, so who is going to propose that? I'll move it. Okay, I'll second it. Um, so we can all just decide whether we support that. Oh, I'll second it. Yeah, okay. Can you take a vote on that, please, Councillor? One, two, three. Sorry, is it an objection or an objection? I uh, so it's deferring decision until we get more information. Yeah. Okay. Are you in favour of that one? Yeah, yeah. So, seven in favour. Against? You against? Yeah. Okay. I don't like it. So the next one is 110 Saxon Way works to crown and reduce one oak tree to leave a finished height of 12 metres and a radial spread of 6 metres. <laughs> Bless you. I'll move that here. 13 percent. Aye, that. Aye. Aye. Yeah. Okay. I'll move that. Yeah. I support that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Bear with me a minute. So that was no objection by Keith. Yeah. Seconded by Tom. Yeah. And take a vote on that one, please, councillors. Yes. Yeah. It's very difficult with this. Yeah, isn't it? Is there any way I can do? Can you do three to the eight? That's going to be. You can't see me. Marvellous. That's better. Right. right. Did you get the numbers? Oh, sorry, no, can you just vote again? So all those in favour of no objection. One, two, three, four, five. That's five in favour. Against. One again. Abstention. Two abstention. Thank you very much. Right, hold me a second. The next one is P20 18697 PDR 120A Palmer's Lee conversion of its existing garage to additional living accommodation. Hold me a second. This house on the end here. So it's this one here. And it's the yeah, conversion of that garage which is set back there. Oh. And then the combined plan. Oh, I love it when they do something that you can really see. Does it? Yeah. 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 So this is the existing elevation and that is what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So there's a comment from Sustainable Transport. Yeah. Read. Yeah. And also, 
But hardly anybody could ever get a car in their garage anyway, so... No, that's right. But one of the things is the purpose of that garage was to keep sometimes not only cars, sometimes the scooters, the bicycles or anything like that. Um, but that's an important component, garage. Um, and people think that it's easy to convert their garage and they do that regularly. And it's a lot of car parking space. <laughs> Well, it's, it's up to them though, isn't it really? Is it, is yeah. that, you know, they decided to, to, to use a, you know, house the people instead of the, you know, bikes, then... It suits them rather than move, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They've still got on-street parking, well, you know, extra parking, so, you know, they might only have one car. Mm. Okay, I agree, so yeah. I can't say anything then. Let me end up. Uh, okay. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in favour. Again. One again. Those guys, you can't not drive Well, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They're usually the glory hole. <laughs> they are. And to be honest, <laughs> in my clothes, I think I'm about me and another person. It's the only people that haven't done their garage into yeah. it. Yeah. Or they become the shared utility area for the freezer. Yeah, quite. If you're putting through the car, you need something you can. You've got to come out. <laughs> Then, then one of the things, what we need to say to the builders is to construct a garage that is good enough to clear park the car. Okay. That should be a the policy. Then otherwise, this purpose is defeated. Building regs, Tom. Building regs. I can't hear what Tony is saying. Sorry. Um, can I just ask him if we can move on to P2018697, please? That was the one we just did. That was the one we sent to Parliament Lee. So the next one is P2019462F. Yeah. Demolition, uh, demolition of the existing conservatory erection of single storey rear extension to form additional living accommodation at 32 Paragon Place. So it is this house down here. Mm -hmm. It's this one here. Okay. So it's yeah. take away the conservatory. So if I did you the same elevation. And that is what is there at the moment. Mm -hmm. So that is what is there at the moment. And that is what they want to put in. Yeah, moving, Jerry. I, sure. I yeah, propose I moving. That's fine, that's great. Because it's a conservatory, they're changing it to a Living accommodation, that's a different one. Yeah, yeah good. Um, does good. that mean you're seconding um, Keith's proposal, Tom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, brilliant, okay. So let's vote then. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, sorry, Tony, did you want to say something? Uh, I think Ben does, he's got his hand up. No, oh, voting. Voting. <laughs> 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 <Well, maybe not. laughs> one, so councillors all vote in favour, please, if you can show hands.
So the next one is P220149 PDR, erection of rear conservatory at 7 Palmer Glee. Find, yeah. That's, uh, What's okay. the uh, comment from the neighbor, Sharon? Is there anything? Um, I did say I'm sorry, but is there nothing more than that? Yeah, yeah, let the chair stay. Don't, don't jump into that. I'm asking a question. Okay, okay, okay. No they have no objection. Let's not fall out. Let's not fall out. Okay, so no, is, what is the comment? Let's let's no just what the comment is. It's on the screen no which basically says that they have it to do with the what the parking space is used for, not nothing to do with the actual Yeah. Move it. Move it. Yeah. That's fine. Great. That's that's what I said. That's what I said. I'm I'll say it, Tom. Okay, yes, everyone's in violent agreement. Okay. Oh, no, 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 Tom. Tell me I just want to you think. No, it's Tell a concern. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. concern is a different thing. Yeah. Okay, okay we, we, can we vote now? We've had a proposer and a seconder, so can we please all vote as to whether we agree or not? Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you very much. That's unanimous. Okay. Wait, Phil. Are you talking? Do you want books close now? Right. No, there is there, there's one which I sent through today. Wait, Phil. Yes. Yeah. So, we So, the next one is P220730F and it is 203 Wheatfield Drive, direction single storey rear and front extension to form additional living accommodation, conversion of the existing garage into living accommodation. Mm. The block plan shows that they do have the two car parking spaces out the front there. Oh. Yeah. 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 Where was the, the yeah. garage? Where was that existing garage? Yeah, so they're converting that part of the conversion to existing garage. Yeah. So parts. can I see the plan, please? Or the existing one, the where the garage is. Yeah, so it's it's here. Mm -hmm. And then that's what they're doing. So they're converting the garage. They've got the two parking spaces out the front there. Yeah. Okay. So Keith has proposed that we um, that we agree. Okay. Is there a seconder? Yes, Tony. Oh, great. Okay. So if we can vote then. 
which is 81 Cook's Place, which you saw at the last meeting. Um, sorry? It was the one with the annex when there was no, um, no um, access from the no access from, from, the yeah, from the house, that's right. Um, and there was also, so you objected on the grounds that the evidence to then presented this is being treated as a separate residence, insufficient parking provision and insufficient amenity space. Um, so um, <laughs> <laughs> So these are the updated I just added a door. They have now added a door into the actual. I'll show you what. Yeah. Yeah. And then the locker in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or boarding it up. Yeah. So they had original, so this was their original concern. Um, they said that, that there was no detail of proposed parking on the, and they asked for a revised plan. Um, and then their second comment was when the revised plan was submitted. So now there will show that there is now three, a total of three parking spaces for the combined dwelling and annex. Um, and so they, they, there's no transportation no objection, but they're just saying that the annex can't be sublet or subdivided from the main host dwelling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you just have to ask the question, how could you ever police that? Well, there are, there are enforcement officers mm -hmm. when they very good mm -hmm. And they sell it, and when it's um, water they sort of have to change, they have to be like selling. Mm -hmm. But there's also people, lots of people have to work in the and they have to all your garage doors are not that internal walls to extend the garage is pretty much the very long. And nobody ever knows who gets to know what they think has to be. Just open the garage door like five years and it's just like five years. Okay, so do we have a proposer? Uh, what we're going to what we're going to what's the decision we're going to be here? Well John, are you going to propose it? You want to poke at me? Why can't you creep out sick people stand there? Tony, you are the very hard to answer. Listen, you asked me to talk to me when I was Could you like to rest at that Your intolerance is a major issue, okay? One of the things, you have some issues with me, and with that, then come and talk to me privately, not at a council meeting. We have to set some standards in the council meeting. I asked. Gentlemen, gentlemen, yeah. gentlemen, I am the chair and I respectfully ask. I am the chair and I respectfully ask. 
for this conversation to stop now and be taken offline. Thank you. Um, I'm, if you could, I am asking now, what is the proposal in terms of a response to this planning application? Has anybody got any views about what we should be, um, what our response should be? I don't like it, but I think it's hard to get to it. Yeah, I kind of think the same, to be honest. I, you know, I don't think, I, I, I think it's, we know where it's going, but I don't know how you could possibly police it, so. I think um, they've met our initial objections, Steve. And if... <laughs> Sorry, Andy. They've met our initial objections and the uh, cause about not subletting it if that forms part of it. I agree with you. I don't think that we can object to it really. It doesn't have any planning issues remaining. Yeah. Well, you, could, you could put, you could, if you wanted to go with no objection, then you could obviously put in on condition that it isn't sublet or. Yeah. 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 I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Sensible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right then. So. Um, I propose that we do that then. Yeah. Subdivided. Yeah. Or sold as two separate properties. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'll, I'll propose that. I'll second. Thank you. And voting, please. That's one, two. So the last one is another reconsultation, which is P20 12234F. The erection of single storey rear and side extension form additional living accommodation at 243 Ormonds Close. Um, so the, um, we also objected originally to this on grounds of overdevelopment of site and insufficient information to clarify parking provision. So they have there's no second one I just come out of here. Am I right to think this must be quite a long time ago because the numbers are well up. Yeah this originally was July. Yeah, sometimes applications do hang around in the South Wales system, but that is quite a big gap, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so what is there at the moment? So that is what is there at the moment. And this is what they have proposed. So they have clarified about the um, parking. Parking, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have the two parking spaces. This is what is there. Yeah. On the side there. 
Is it on the street? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's this one here. If you remember that. Mm -hmm. It was to come out to here. Remember that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What was the comment, sustainable transport? I think they said they wouldn't have any objections because there was three in the end. Yeah, so that's why the um, that's why they asked for the this they this was from the original thing because yeah. we, we weren't sure where the edge I seem to remember where the edge yeah. of the actual site went and whether one of the parking spaces was outside the edge of the site. Mm. They have now clarified that. But mm. that one. Mm. 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 Yeah, foul grain. Oh, yeah. New position of the mine hole. But there is, um, I think, it's a little bit of a difference. Yeah, so they've now clarified that the extent of their site and the fact that this car parking space is all within their land. Mm -hmm. And they've got the I thought the transport would be the same price. Yeah, that's what they said. I didn't hear that. What was that? Michael said he hopes that both the cars wouldn't want to leave at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't the uh, transport, the, the, the revised transport view, didn't that say about three parking spaces were available and they were happy that that was enough? No, that was a close, close one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, well, they've done what we've asked them to do, haven't they? Yeah, no, nothing from the neighbour, I don't think. But it's an attack excuse, yeah. I think this is one of those where we have to hold our nose and let it go through. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Seems like again, it's so, hard. It didn't have to be as bad last time. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. And also, the, the, the second car is going to be parked right outside the door. Yeah. But, you know, that's up to them, isn't it, really, I suppose? Yeah. That's fine, but that's the excuse, so... So, have we got a proposal? Right, Did Michael move it? Yeah, it's all right. We've got it all second. <laughs> OK, yeah. lovely. All in favour? I was moving it. I'll just do this again. No, sorry, Sharon. All right. I think. Lovely, thank you very much. So we'll move now on to the yeah. okay, Sharon, to move on. Point nine. To deal with matters referring to work within scope of the Planning Environment Committee not covered elsewhere. 9.1 South Gloucester Council, Quibs Patchway, Metro Bus Extension, Gypsy Patch Lane, Stakeholder Liaison Group Update. You have the um, Alan Griffith. Uh, Proposal. Oh, what's happening in your agenda packs there? So they're at my site works program from October 20 to December 20, and the the bridge has now gone. <laughs> so the foundation is being dug, and then I guess the new bridge will be moved into place. Yep. Yeah. Well, actually, replacement process. Okay. They're, because the station's obviously shut, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're doing the surface at the moment, ready for the other one to be brought across. Hmm. Good. Okay. <laughs> it's not the biggest. 
coming out of the biggest concrete bridge or, or construction or something in the country or it's like it, yeah. Yeah. it is quite yeah. a phenomenal work yeah yeah it's built and they're literally just going to pick it up and move it into place okay I saw something today, I think they're using expanded foam on the sides of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, all right, lovely. So unless anybody's got any uh, any sort of comments, any other comments to make, let's move on to nine point two, South Gloucestershire Council Greener places questionnaire. So you have that in your agenda pack. They are that was apparently consulting on greener places across the area. So there is a questionnaire for everybody to fill in. This is for the No, I think it's for the community as a whole. So we have to fill it in as well, councillors in the same way. So I haven't done a mass market. I I don't I, no, I don't I don't know what how they get there. Uh, this has a code to my No, no, no. So it's just not giving to the Well, with the, and also for you to potentially pass on to anyone interest and I think it's in you know the um, update that comes out to residents the email updates I think it was referred to in that one yeah 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 so it was mentioned yeah yeah I don't think it's on there but yeah definitely yeah Yes. Uh, so this was placed and um, was mentioned in yesterday's community engagement for meeting as well. Yeah. Okay. It's finished by the 8th of November, so that's only a few more days. Yeah. Okay, and that's what, yeah, as as, um, as you were saying, Tony, if we get that up on the website as well. That, um, yeah, that's great. Okay, thank you. So I, having looked through the questionnaire, I would suggest it. It's more of a questionnaire that individual councillors respond to because it's actually asking you, you personally what you feel and what you think your priorities are. So I would encourage councillors to respond. Okay, thank you very much. Um, moving on then to point 10 to deal with matters relating to health and safety. No, no, no. Okay, we have on then to point 11 to deal with the following financial matters. 11.1 to approve bills and direct debits for payment. Great, good. Then start with the hand up. Yeah, that's fine, okay. I feel it's good. Okay, so your second, Tom.